If you want to view your live form so you can see what the form looks like, or if you want to send to someone the URL, open up the form here in Google Drive. So here's my form, my sample form dinner invite. I'm opening it up. It will open it up in the editor, more, uh, editor mode. Uh, and then you'll notice that I have a button that says view live form. When I go ahead and select that, it will show me what the form will look like to anyone who's taking it. Now there's a couple of really important items to um, be attentive to when working in a form. You'll notice that when I'm in the live form, I'll always have my edit this form button on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and it'll open up the form again. And it's really important that by default, when a form is created, typically this button is selected, require the Blake School login to view this form. Now let's say, for example, I go ahead and I wanted to uh, highlight the URL of the form that I wanted to send, and I sent that off into an email uh, to someone who doesn't have a Blake School Google Apps account, uh, and I wanted them to finish, uh, complete this dinner invitation. So I go ahead and highlight, and I would copy, and I would go ahead and send an email, And in the email, I would paste the uh, URL and send that off. And eventually, uh, if I had checked require the Blake School login to view this form, and I intended it to be public, what would happen is I would end up getting a message that looks like this. I've received the message. You'll notice that this is my personal email account. And because I don't have a Blake School account, I can. Um, I don't have permission to access this form. So again, it's really important that if you want this form to be public, do not check require uh, Blake School login to view this form. You want to make it accessible outside of your domain, and make sure that uh, you don't automatically collect respondents' Blake School username because again, that will require them to do so. And then when I'm ready to go ahead and. Uh, uh, sh share this form. Um, I will just go ahead and click view live form. Um, I'll notice that I can copy uh, the URL and unlike last time when I select it, it will go ahead and it will make it public. And you'll notice that one of the dead giveaways between a uh, form that is public without requiring a login and, is that if you look in the URL the URL will be really plain, docs.google.com slash forms. You'll notice that if I turn the um, required Blake School login to view this form, and I try to load that same form again, since I checked the required Blake School login for this form, it's no longer publicly available. And you'll notice at the top in the URL that the form will now show docs.google.com slash a slash blakeschool.org. That's a dead giveaway that it's most likely um, has the required uh, login uh, checkbox. So make sure you've unchecked it and then go ahead and remove uh, the slash a slash blakeschool.org so that it becomes just the regular URL again. When I'm done accepting responses, I would just go ahead under the responses menu and unselect accepting responses. That just means that from now on, no one will be able to uh, access this form because it's no longer accepting uh, responses and it will give a message like this. And if I want to go ahead and start accepting responses again, again under the responses menu to accept responses.